day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. All right, so as you guys saw, we opened up the video with me doing my nails. Guys, my nails are so gnarled and just raggedy right now that I actually had to take the polish off and kind of file them down, buffer them down a little bit um, so that I could actually do my hair today. That's what we're getting ready to do right now, but they're so gnarled and raggedy, they're just like pulling and getting caught on everything. So I had to, we are go actually going to go back and finish my nails after I do my hair, but in order for me to do my hair without breaking every strand off, I had to actually get started on my nails first. So I've removed the polish and I've kind of buffed them down just a little bit, I think good enough to uh, where I can kind of do my hair without worry about a whole lot of breakage but guys so you guys know I suffer from grays around the my hairstyle is called it like the halo area of my hairline um, it's pretty bright in here today not sure if you guys are picking up on that but really really gray so I have not been able to get my hands on the hair color that I typically use to color my hair and I've actually also not been able to go to the hair salon to get them colored when I do go to the salon to have them colored for obvious reasons. So today guys, I am actually going to try out Just For Men. I have never used Just For Men before on my hair but I need something with some power behind it that's really, really going to work. And I ordered this from Amazon. And this says that it will take hold of your grades and color them completely in five minutes. So let's take a look at what's in the box. What you receive are your gloves and instructions. I have those items here. I will not be using these gloves because what I like to do, I kind of, in, when I do my uh, color at home, I kind of do what my hairstylist does. She puts on gloves and like she really gets in there and rubs uh, the color into my hairline. So I'll just be using these little handy uh, Dollar Tree gloves right here. Um, I'm sure these will work, but you know, typically with the gloves that you get in your little kits, they're not the best gloves. So you get your gloves, your instructions, you get your color base, and you get your applicator that has your color developer in here. And that is actually all that is in here. So what I am going to do now is go ahead and put my gloves on. So you guys will have to leave a comment let me know if you have tried out the Just For Men, all right? Uh, let me know how it works for you. Eric has maybe two gray hairs in his entire head, so he doesn't color his hair. I'm not sure if he's actually going to color his hair if he goes, you know, if he starts to gray. I don't know, I'll have to ask him that. I've never broached that subject with him. All right, so next, just like with, you know, our hair color, you want to remove the top. And I'm here in my closet room bathroom, for those of you who do not know. Um, trying to contain the mess to this little space right here. This is the room that I typically uh, color my hair in. The cabinets in our master bathroom are white and uh, I don't wanna get any of this color on those white cabinets. All right, so I have those two ingredients and you guys look a little bit bright to me, so hold the line please. Let me see if I can adjust this lighting. Okay, so now I need to twist. Do you twist this off? I think I need to cut this little piece off. See if I have my scissors here, and I do. So yeah, today's Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Atlanta officially opens up today. Today is May 1st. Um, 
I don't think we, well, I know we're not doing anything. I think later on today, we're going to kind of go out and ride around. That has been our little, <sighs> the little thing that we do during the week to kind of get out of the house to break up the monotony of everything. So we'll probably head out today and kind of ride around. Eric right now is out dropping off packages. Thanks guys. And he also had to run and have the oil change. So he's at the uh, dealership right now. So when he gets back, if I'm finished with my hair and everything, we'll probably head out. Um, on my head right now is this cap that I sleep in. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. I really love it. We have been getting a lot of packages here at the house. And when I have this on, if I don't have on like a turban or something, or, you know, if I don't have my hair out to keep it from looking all askew, I have this guy on. And I think it looks, you know, a little bit better than my hair standing all up on top of my head. But you can purchase this on Amazon. And I love the fact that it is lined with, um, satin so let me take the gloves back off oh also i am all over the place today so the items that i am going to be using to kind of treat my hair after i wash it are all from the olaplex line i will be sharing with you guys here in a few days my review of olaplex i have been using olaplex for a little over three months now so i will share with you guys my um thoughts on the Olaplex brand, but typically before I wash my hair on wash days, I'll start with the Olaplex Hair Perfector, and this is the Olaplex number three, and it says it repairs and strengthens all types of hair. If you guys have tried Olaplex, please drop a line below and let me know how you are enjoying it, but what you're supposed to do is place this on damp hair and, you know, let it sit on for about 10 minutes and what I do while it's sitting is I place my heat cap on. I'm not sure if I've ever shared this with you guys but this you take and you stick it in the microwave for 20-30 seconds or so. Not more than a minute and it gets really really warm and then you just put this on your head and it heats up and really gets um, your scalp and you know all the little juices and everything working together to make your hair really really soft and nice and so i've been using it with that and this cap is also you can purchase it on amazon as well I'll have a link for it below but so yeah typically i would put this on first and this is the olaplex number three hair perfector but you have to wet your hair so you guys know when you apply color a lot of times you apply you apply it to dry hair and it specifically says in these just for men instructions that i not wet my hair to apply it so i'm going to place it on dry hair and then for my shampoo and conditioner i'll be using the olaplex bond maintenance shampoo number four and the olaplex bond maintenance conditioner and this is number five all right so but i'll be coming back um in a few days or so and uh give you my thoughts on the olaplex i will say it is not real budget friendly let me just say that this little bottle right here this is a 3.3 fluid ounce bottle this is 28 dollars use it once a week um these guys a little bit more bang for your buck they are 28 dollars each as well all right, so let me go ahead, apply this color. I just want it on my hairline and uh, I'll come right back. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> I forgot to put some Vaseline or some type of base on my hairline and around my ears. Talking to you guys, I forgot that step, but you guys know when you're using color, especially a dark color, uh, you want to put some type of base on the areas that you don't want to have color because now they're going to be colored. So my forehead is probably going to be a bit dark uh, when I rinse this out, but it's okay. It does fade. Um, the color does fade after a few hours. You know, you go wash your face stuff like that it fades but you see this is why I didn't want to wear those little TV gloves because like I said I really like to get in here this is what my hairstylist does 
uh, at the salon when I go to have it colored. She really gets in there and uh, massages the color and she calls this my halo area uh, because you know when the, the color your hair grays it looks like you have a little halo. Hi guys, so. today is Saturday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today. Guys, get into, get into this bounce, okay? Get into this bounce in this hair that she did herself. I don't know. After this, I may not go back to the hair salon or the nail salon. I'm loving the results from the Just For Men. I don't know why that particular hair color, in my opinion, took a little bit better, well, I'll say a lot better, than the, you know, hair color that I used previously. You know, the hair color that's specifically for women. Um, I tried to, I tried to slick down my edges a little bit today, but they are fighting me, so. <laughs> This 4C hair will not have it around the edges, but I was able to kind of blow dry um, the rest of my hair pretty straight. Um, so yeah, I am really loving the results from the Just For Men. Um, I mentioned too that I'm gonna come back in and share uh, my feedback on the Olaplex shampoo, conditioner, and the hair perfecter that I did not put on uh, on yesterday, but I have been using it for, like I said, roughly three months or so. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. Guys, today, <sighs> it's a sad day here in our household. Um, today is the day that we have decided to go ahead and cancel our upcoming Disney trip as Disney is closed. But on next week, we were actually scheduled to, you know, head out to Disney for vacation. And, um, Unfortunately, that trip will not be happening. So, um, I have my coffee here today in my inaugural Disney bu uh, mug to kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say celebrate this occasion, but to kind of mark this occasion. This is the first time we've ever had to cancel one of our Disney trips. Like, we've gone to Disney during hurricanes tornadoes and they've always turned out great um, however there's no getting around this particular situation so um yeah hey we're gonna have to do it but the place where we were actually stick uh, going to stay is actually uh, closed so let me sit you guys down and go ahead and cancel this so that we can make sure we do it in time enough to get our deposit back <music> have my mug this is one of my favorite Disney mugs all right not only is Mickey dancing around the mug but it is huge it is huge I can get a good 10 12 ounces of coffee in here on a good day so I'm gonna take my mug and enjoy my coffee as best I can. I have my laptop here, but I wanna show you guys where we were actually slated to stay on next Saturday, which is actually when we were leaving. Um, so, you know what, let me change the camera angle so you guys can sit here. <sighs> and do this with me. But we were staying at Margaritaville, so hold the line please. Let me um, bring you guys a little bit closer. All right, I hope you guys can see. It's kind of bright, but I don't think you can see. I think it's too bright. All right, so this is where we were scheduled to stay. This is Margaritaville Resort. Now, Margaritaville actually has, let's see, they have a hotel. Let's see if I can click on that. All right, so this is the hotel down here, right there. This is terrible. This is so bright. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let me scroll down. So here we go. That's a look at the 
some of the rooms in their uh, hotel here. Really pretty, really beachy like, but we have actually never stayed in the hotel room, the hotel rooms, the traditional rooms. That is because Margaritaville also has cottages. These gorgeous, gorgeous little cottages. They're like, they're houses. Uh, and so, oh, you know what? I better not let it play. Um, but yeah, we've always stayed in the cottages. They're little houses that you rent out and you have it all to yourself. So you don't have to worry about uh, going through the you know, hotel lobby or anything like that. You just pull up to your uh, little house and you know, that's it. We don't know when we will be able to reschedule. The resort right now is actually closed. Uh, you guys know Disney is closed. We've read numerous conflicting stories that Disney is going to attempt to have like a soft opening sometime in June and um, but that's just that's just rumored so we don't really know when we will be able to you know actually go back to our little happy place you guys will have to leave a comment below let me know if you had any vacations scheduled uh, for the you know upcoming weeks and if so where were you and your family going are you planning to reschedule? Um, Eric actually has uh, some co-workers who were scheduled to go to Hawaii and um, they have since had to reschedule their trip and they have tried to kind of book out months from now, but the hotel, the resort that they were actually going to stay at is actually all full because the people who uh, were scheduled to be going here, you know, in the upcoming weeks, have canceled and rescheduled so everything has just kind of gotten pushed out and so yeah you know we just don't know what we're gonna do all of us are just really ready for a little getaway but you know what can you do but again let leave a comment let me know if you and your family have had to reschedule a vacation and if so where were you guys going are you going to reschedule but I guess it's all for the best. Well, I know it's all for the best. So we're just gonna have to stick it out. And hopefully, you know, this fall we'll be able to reschedule, you know, and get back to our little happy place. So yesterday was May 1st and that was, I want to say the official opening day for Atlanta. So we kind of hopped in the truck, drove around to see what was going on. And I have to say, Atlanta still is not open. Uh, many, 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 many restaurants were still closed. Um, the malls here were actually supposed to open up on Friday, May 1st, but uh, Phipps, Lenox Mall, they were still closed. I read in our local little community chat that they have decided to wait and open up on Monday. Not sure what waiting a few days is going, what difference that's going to make, but um yeah a lot of things were actually still closed so sunny day all right so i'm down here in the basement now obviously opening it up oh uh, guys i don't know what more i can do to make our game nights and movie nights any more fun and thrilling i am about about all out of ideas at this point. I really, really am. So tonight we are going to do movie night down here in the basement. Typically we do our movie nights upstairs in the theater room, but um, I decided I just, we need to switch up. So I am dressed today um, because I'm going to head out when I finish talking with you guys to the grocery store and, you know, try to pick up a few fun things, things we haven't eaten in a while, things, I don't know, <laughs> that's going to perk up tonight's movie night. Uh, let's go out here on the, uh, 
patio, back porch area. I should have put my shoes on. Um, so what I'm thinking, all right, I am actually going to try and get Eric and Chase to agree to come out here at some point tonight. Ooh, it's really bright, but I'm not complaining. Right here, I don't even know if you guys can see it. Oh, it's so bright, I don't know if you can see it, but that is actually a, um, a fire pit. And we have never used said fire pit. So I am going to see if I can get them to come out here at some point tonight and maybe, you know, do s'mores or something like that. Um, I don't know, just to kind of vary things up tonight. But it feels really great out here today. I know I have not finished with the video that I came to you guys with a few, what, weeks ago. We were kind of cleaning off the patio and cleaning up the, cleaning, um, you know, up this bottom area here, but I have been so thoroughly busy in the store and I am not complaining. Thank you guys, each and every one of you, so much for keeping me busy in the store. Um, but I haven't had a chance to get back out here and actually take care of everything, but I wanna tell you right now, it smells, so freaking good out here and I think it's I have some there's some bushes behind me you guys can't see it don't worry about it but there's some bushes and they have these really pretty white flowers on them I didn't plant them I just think they're growing wild but they smell amazing and now couple that with this mint that I should not have planted here okay all of this gorgeous gorgeous mint hmm smells so freaking good it smells so good so it's just like um, a paradise out here for your senses. So I'm gonna see if, like I said, I can get them to come out here, you know, later on today and kind of hang out with me. We'll put all the pillows and everything out. Uh, you guys remember this bench right here that Eric and I DIY? Uh, well, we keep all of the pillows for said bench here and here in those containers and so I have the lights that I need to hang up too. Maybe I can get a chance. Maybe I'll get a chance today to hang those up when I get back from the grocery store. Um, you know, make it really pretty, you know, do something a little bit different. Um, but it is such a beautiful day. But I'm just really ready to go some somewhere else. Kind of tired of being home. Um, if I could be any place right now, it would absolutely be Margaritaville. Let me know if you guys have a place that you, you would rather be right now. Margaritaville is absolutely that place for me right now. Shout out time. All right, Sylvia D, Miami, Florida. We get a lot of uh, get a lot of orders from Miami, so shout out to all of Florida, South Florida, North Florida. Home team, Jamila M, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Of course, that's hometown, Lawrenceville. Great suburb here in Atlanta. I feel like all of these cities, you know. We get a lot of diversity in our orders, but I definitely think there are some cities that I see consistent, consistently, like Buffalo, New York. I know I've seen Buffalo a few times in Annette K. I'm pretty sure this is not Annette's first order because I remember talking about Buffalo and Annette K a few times, so shout out to her. Tupelo, Missis Mississippi, uh, Stephanie R. I know we've shouted out Tupelo a few times. Kadada J. Lynette, Alabama. Again, Alabama. We It's pretty consistent. Virginia, New York, uh, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina. Real, a lot of consistency here in terms of where our orders come from. Another home team, 
Um, Damon S. Stockbridge, Georgia. Um, I'm going to assume Damon is a guy. Um, and I don't, I, I, this may be the first order I've done a shout out for a guy. So shout out to all the guys out there that watch the channel. Um, you know, if you're looking for a Mother's Day gift for your significant other, hey, we appreciate the, uh, the business there. So shout out to Damon. Annette K. So I just shouted out Annette. Wow. We really appreciate the love. Uh, Buffalo, New York. This is a very heavy package. So shout out to uh, Annette. Again, what I just said, California, I think is, or maybe I didn't, I don't know, but California is one of the other states that we get a lot of orders from. Um, Charlize J. Lancaster, California. Renee M. Now, this might be the first one that I recall from Philly. Uh, she's out of Philadelphia, PA. So shout out to Renee M. Another California one. Angela C. Um, from San Francisco, California. All right, we got a lot of love for San Francisco in my house. We've taken a few trips um, out to San Francisco in the Bay Area. Um, we've done a lot of the tourist attractions out there. We've done um, Alcatraz, you know, boat tours and bus tours. Um, there's a park out there we really like, Alum Rock. It's kind of out in the suburbs. Um, we've gone out to uh, Yosemite, which is about a four, I think a four hour drive from San Francisco, but we spent a lot of time I think we've taken two or three trips, vacations out to the Bay Area. So really love that part of the country. Shout out to San Francisco. Another Miami. Again, it's it's a, it's pretty consistent. Uh, Melody D, Miami, Florida. And another Florida one. Um, Roxana P from Jacksonville, Florida. Shout out to Duval. I call it Duval because when I was at Florida A&M, everybody that was from, from Jacksonville, nobody said they were from Jacksonville. They were like, yeah, I'm from Duval. So for whatever reason, all the Jacksonville folks shout out their county <laughs> instead of Jacksonville. At least that was my experience years ago at Florida A&M. Let us know, the Jacksonville folks, do you say you're from Duval, from your, you're from Jacksonville? Um, great city though. Again, obviously we love all of Florida and have been all up and down Florida in the panhandle vacation school visiting friends and family we florida is probably basically like at this point our our second home state so shout out to everybody in florida also you know as i send out these packages um you know i know the uh all the essential workers have been getting a lot of love i want to specifically shout out um ups fedex and the post office you know those are people that really have to interact with the public they're handling packages all day they're having to interact with the the public and i gotta say you know from my perspective it's been very consistent we've been getting packages we've been sending out packages i haven't seen any changes in the service for the most part that you get from all of the uh package carriers you know there might be some delays just because someone can't get a package out to you but once it gets in the hands of ups or usps or fedex you know those folks are really on it so i want to give them a shout out for all of the hard work that they do on the front lines. And for all of you that are watching that might be essential workers on the front lines, you know, thank you so much for um, your service. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're starting to see some things open up. Pink package shout out time. Y'all, we got so many orders today. I had to break out the old school suitcase to deliver everything. Wait, what? you know what? Before we jump into that, let me just say this. Um, uh, we sent out the monthly newsletter um, I think yesterday. <clears throat> so thank you for all of those that sign up for the newsletter. We do actually send out a newsletter. I know sometimes when you go to any of these websites and you sign up for their mailing list and you don't know what happens <laughs> because of that. Um, on our site, you know, if you sign up for the mailing list, you basically get a once a month newsletter. It'll have some specials and some shout outs um, and a personal message um, from my wife. One of the things she talks about in this newsletter, you know, with Mother's Day coming up, you know, obviously my wife is a mom. Um, she's also a former teacher, former educator. She, she, we, we homeschooled our son for many years. So she certainly appreciates, especially the role now that a lot of moms have, because a lot of you now as moms are now having to basically homeschool your kids. Um, even if, even if your kids are at home and they're quote unquote taking classes online, even then with online classes, you still have to basically supervise and step in and help out a lot more. So I know she's got a special shout out in there to all the moms, but especially the moms now that are, you know, essential workers that are in the healthcare industry, that are on the front lines. 
you know, all the moms that serve as surrogate parents, you know, it might be the grandmother or the cousin or the, the aunt, right, that serves as a mom. So special shout out to all the moms. My wife, of course, has been busy <laughs> fulfilling her role as a, as a mom and um, as a store owner now and as a YouTuber. So she really appreciates all the love and support and I certainly appreciate her. Um, you know, it's funny, she, um, she just really appreciates you guys. I'll put it like that. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But she's she's very happy, not only with the support of the channel, but the support of the uh, store. And she's always busy doing both. If she's not working on one, she's working on the other. But it's one of these things where, you know, they always say if you love what you do, it makes your work a lot easier. And she really loves it. So, uh, yeah, thank thank you from, from me to her or from, from her <laughs> through me to you guys. And again, she would come on here and do the shout outs, but she's busy putting together YouTube uh, videos or, you know, working on orders or, you know, just relaxing and going back to her role as a, as a stay at home mom, which she has been for uh, many years. But anyway, our first shout out is a special one. It is to Stephanie R uh, from Tupelo, Mississippi. And this one is special because this pink package is actually a contest winner. So again, one of the things we talk about in the newsletter is the contest winner and how you can enter new contests. So sign up for the newsletter if you haven't. Um, so we reached out to Stephanie. We actually had two contest winners. We announced it, I think in the previous two videos, we heard back from Stephanie. So we're able to send her her stuff. We haven't heard back to the other young lady that won. Um, so to the other young lady, check out the previous two videos. Uh, you did win, I think the other winner, Stephanie was a winner through the store. The other winner had to comment on the YouTube video. So we don't have her address, right? So she had to, my wife had to communicate back to you through YouTube. So you got to email us back through YouTube and give us your address and we can send you your, your prize. Um, <clears throat> next package, this one is heavy. Um, Rochelle C, New Jersey. New Jersey represents. New Jersey is definitely here for the store. We appreciate all you guys in New Jersey. Uh, Volanta H. Covington, Georgia. No Covington, Georgia very well. Great area. That's um, on the east side of Atlanta. Tashawi G. River Blue, Riverview, Florida. I always think I've been everywhere in Florida, but there's always places that I haven't heard of. I could have sworn I've been to just about every city in Florida, but I'm not familiar with our Riverview, so shout out to her. Um, Charlie C, Sacramento, California. Get a lot of love from uh, California, Sacramento. Tara K, Katy, Texas. A lot of love from Texas. Shirley F, Fort Benning, Georgia. Huge shout out to uh, Fort Benning. Darlene J, another Texas one, Tyler, Texas. Judy S, Judy, you know, at this point, you and I are basically old friends. I think we shout out Judy on just about every video. So shout out to Judy uh, down in Florida, Wachula, Florida. She's a huge supporter of the channel and of the store, so we really appreciate her. Sherry M, Madison, Florida. Florida is here. I know we shout out Florida a lot because we went to school down there and go on vacation down there a lot and just are in Florida a lot. So we appreciate all the love from Florida. California is here for us too. Uh, this is Donetta P, Gardena, California. Shanti B, more South Carolina. You guys know from the previous videos, we've got a lot of ties to South Carolina also. Used to live there. We lived there for a few years. Monica V, uh, McKinley, Florida. So again, another city in Florida that I'm not as familiar with. Stacy F, Vancouver, uh, Canada. So shout out to Stacy, another Canadian order. Uh, again, if you guys don't know, we ship to both the United States and Canada. What time it is, heading out for my second career, my second job, working for the Unfarmed for Mommy store. Do I like my boss? Eh, she's all right. What's up, y'all? So before we get into this pink package uh, shout out, I saw a little headline or something yesterday. I think it was Jada Pinkett. Something to the effect of showing, of showing her a new side of, of Will Smith that she hadn't seen before. And that left a lot of question marks for me. Now I will say this, 
I've always, for most of my career, worked from home. You know, my wife's stay-at-home mom. She runs her businesses from home. Our son, Chase, was homeschooled for a long time. So we've always been used to being in the house around each other for extended periods, even during the week, not just weekends. So maybe I'm just used to it. But I just find it odd that, you know, Jada and Will are not newlyweds. Like, y'all have been together for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, how is Will staying home? And I assume they have, a, I've never seen their house, but I assume it's a pretty good size where they're not up under each other. Why would that now expose a different side to Will that you haven't seen before? I don't know, it's just to me, and look, I think we all love Will and Jada, but their marriage has always seemed kind of interesting to me. You hear some of the rumors that have been out there and how they approach it. So let us know down in the comments. I'm really curious and interested to know. Um, for those of you that have husbands, or maybe you're in the sports yourself, um, are you missing? Is your husband driving you crazy because there's no NBA there's no Final Four. I, I need to catch up. There's a Michael Jordan special. The name of it keeps flying in and out of my head. But um, I need to catch up on that on ESPN. It's getting rave reviews, so I need to catch that. And I've been just I just been watching like old highlights on U YouTube. But also, are you missing sports? Are you missing the basketball season? Is that something that's or seeing the NBA, uh, the NFL draft live? Right? Is that something that's like? driving you crazy or driving your husband crazy so let us know down in the comments how you're coping but anyway on to the shout outs new jersey always represents sonia s woodline woodland new jersey yvonne w fairview heights illinois shout out to her bridget p oak park michigan This package is heavy. Whoever this is, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody, obviously. Rachel P. Brentwood, California. Salele K. Uh, this is the first one in Las Vegas. Shout out to Las Vegas from North Las Vegas. And I know that's the first because that's the name you remember. Um, as much as we love Disney, um, and we vacation, you know, in Florida a lot. We have been to Vegas a couple of times, really like Vegas, one of our, you know, favorite cities. One of the things we do in Vegas that's a little bit, maybe a little bit different, maybe not. Um, we, you know, we go and do the casino thing. We do the certain Soleil thing, all that. But we'll also like go out to the desert. Um, there's a park there, I think it's Red Rock Canyon. You know, being on the East Coast, we don't get, you know, the desert environments that you get out West. So whenever we're out West, we try to take advantage of, you know, if you're in a Phoenix, if you're in Phoenix or Las Vegas, you know, drive out to the desert, find a park or something and just explore. So in addition to doing the regular stuff in Vegas, we also like to do the hiking and stuff that's available out there. So some really great hiking areas. Um, the next one is to Latania B, Hazelwood, Missouri, Missouri. Crystal M, Houston, Texas. Shout out to Houston. Sheila C, Dayton, Ohio. And since I just brought up Vegas, also, you know, maybe that's another thing we can discuss in the comments. Are you a Vegas person? I think some people, I think most people like Vegas, but I have talked to some people that could kind of take it or leave it. You know, it's not for everybody. So let us know in the comments if you are, you know, if you do the Vegas thing. And if so, how often do you do it? Is, is it something you just go when there's an event, like a, a bachelorette something or for work? Or do you try to go regularly every couple of years because you like to hit up the casinos? Uh, that's something else we can discuss in the comments here. Um, Cynthia J, Springville, Springfield, Massachusetts. Muriel M, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga is another city we go to quite a bit. It, Chattanooga is two hours north of Atlanta. Um, a great small town for doing, you know, tourist stuff that is not your typical tourist stuff. So kind of like, you know, the opposite of Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas, big city, lots of bright lights. Chattanooga is more laid back, but they've got some cool little stuff that you can do in Chattanooga as a tourist that I like. That's a good day trip from Atlanta. So we spent, you know, a few weekends in Chattanooga just kind of hanging out. So I do like, I do have a lot of love for Chattanooga. And the last one is for um, Betty B from New York. New York always, as always, New York is in our thoughts and prayers. I hear a lot less about um, New York, you know, going through some of its trials and tribulations. So hopefully things are getting better there. So yeah, shout out to uh, NYC and shout out to all you guys. Thank you for continuing to support the store. And until the next shout out, be blessed.